Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to my channel. This week we are uh, getting close to the end of the saga of the Miami International Boat Show. We are doing round five, which is the Lagoon 55, uh, fittingly. This is the newest offering from Lagoon. Uh, a lot has been said about this boat. As usual, it's really spacious, has excellent uh, new interior design from Nada. And I mean, I have a lot to say about this boat, but I'm gonna leave most of it for the video. As usual, I'll have a full spec sheet down in the description. If you're interested, feel free to drop me a line. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the tour. All right, we're here back at the Miami International Boat Show, bright and early before the crowds arrive. This is about the quietest. You're gonna see the Lagoon booth all day. We'll board on this ladder. We're coming up to the sugar scoop. We'll take a quick look at the cockpit, but you'll notice that right as you enter, you've got a hydraulic tender lift platform with your chocks that actually fold down. It's a nice touch. This entire uh, cockpit is done in a nice teak. And you've got two uh, teak tables as well that fold out to connect to each other. I'm going to do the exterior uh, first, but we'll stop off in the engine room. And here we find something a little different. Where you've got Nanny motors, not Volvo or Yanmar, as well as your water maker unit. And then below is your transmission and your sail drive boot. Uh, yeah, pretty spacious as usual. Though certainly a bit of a change. I can't remember. I don't think Lagoon has ever made a uh, made a uh, another model with Nanny. I've seen them added to Bally's though, so maybe they're taking a bit of a cue from their competitor. Or Nanny is just offering really good pricing on their motors these days. We'll do the flybridge uh, first this time. Got a set of stairs to come up to a, a nice wet bar with a Vitafrigo uh, freezer for your cooler for your drinks. Big sunbed on the back as well as your traveler. Again, all the sailing is done on the flybridge. You've got a nice uh, bolster seat here. This is actually this is actually done in cloth, which is a bit interesting. Typically, you don't see these done in cloth. You can fit two people on here easily. And looking out, you've got a good view of the foredeck as well as both of your bows. Slightly obscured by the uh, shade they have set up, but... We'll continue on to the foredeck. Passing over a couple of flush-mounted hatches. Here we come to the forward cockpit, forward seating area. We got a split trampoline, so the anchor is on the crossbeam. Pair of bow seats, and, and I guess the owner has added, or at least this model was uh, ordered with uh, extra stands to mount this uh, uh, forward shade up here. Um, regarding the 55, when I saw this model was announced, I had hoped that it would have a kind of a forward door, like the 65, or you know, like the Leopard 50, but. I guess that just wasn't in the cards. But it does have a really big window, so, you know, can get a good breeze through there, but no, no entryway. I'll know that you've also got another day bed up front if you want to get some more sun. Ah, uh, yes. Can't forget the obligatory rig shot, either. And the, the, this, this boat does also have a uh, hardtop enclosure. It's actually underneath that vinyl zipper, so tucks away all nice and, uh, all nice and neat.
before we head inside, you've got a, another uh, wet bar here in the main uh, cockpit for your ice maker. And some more storage for stuff. All right, we'll head inside now. All right, walking into the main salon. I'm gonna turn back real quick just because this is easier to see with the lighting. You've got one, two, three, four uh, storage hatches in the cockpit as well as this nice big scupper for uh, emptying any water that might ingress on here. But frankly, the freeboard of this boat is so high, I don't think you'll be getting a whole lot of waves. All right, off to uh, starboard. We've got a starboard. We've got an L-shaped galley. And uh, I just want to note that I really like the interior coloring on this boat. It's it's kind of like a nice uh, cream color. It's 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 really tasteful. Um, I like it a bit more than the uh, the dark uh, accent that Lagoon has been using recently. We've got a gorgeous U-shaped uh, settee uh, seating area. The trademark uh, vertical windows, of course, with the brow. Keep uh, heat outside of the interior of the boat. You've got a compression post that it does run through the center of the uh, center of the cockpit, but I like that they've added this nice cover here. I'm looking at uh, you, Leopard, fingerprint magnets. But uh, you've got a nav station here as well. And we'll go into the owner suite. This boat is a four cabin. So it does, this boat comes in four cabins, five cabins, and six. And you're gonna notice a theme starting here. I'll point it out later, but this is the first of four cabins. Got a TV here that swings out, a, a writing desk. And you've got storage all, up, um, not only under the bed, but uh, at the foot opposite of the bed as well. First of four heads. And you do have, uh, speaking of taking cues from Bally, uh, you do have a full-size fridge and freezer down, downstairs, so you can get extra, extra storage for food on long passages. And you know what, it's just a little bit easier than digging in the, uh, digging in the pull-out drawer sometimes. So I said you'd notice a theme here, and one of that theme is that all of the berths are athwart ships. And you know, athwart ship berths got kind of a bad name back in the day for just not being all that accessible. But I mean, all of the berths <laughs> in this boat, just because the, you know, the boat is so wide, I mean, the interior volume is just you know, fantastic on this boat. They're all, you know, practically island berths, so they're fully walk around. So even if you don't think you're a fan of a thwart ship berths, you'll probably still like this boat. All right, we'll finish up our tour heading into the owner's suite, which is on the port side this time, and is a rather interesting layout. I, I like it a lot, but it's not quite what you would expect. So this is the owner's head. We've got a nice, uh, shower here and opposite of that you have a separate head and your sink and vanity is in between as usual you've got a sliding door let's see this pulls out like that and voila, you can fully enclose your bedroom. A seat off to the side here, more storage opposite there. Nice big mirror that ties together the entire space. And our third athwart ship berth. With your writing desk and TV, nightstand, all of the fixins. Fantastic, I think. I like it a lot. And you... All right, and we'll come to the final, final guest cabin here. This is uh, this is just a mirror image of the forward uh, forward guest cabin. 
for the most part. And I will admit, I also do appreciate and notice the slightly larger wand showers, a bit nicer than what you might find on a uh, smaller production boat. It's a 55. You ought to step things up a little, you know, make it a bit, a bit, a bit more fancy. Alright, so that will wrap it up for the new Lagoon 55. Uh, I think this may be the final boat for this generation of Lagoon. We'll see if they add one more. They might. You never know. So, if you have any questions about her or want to go see the boat, do drop me a line. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Leave a comment. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.